Hey my loves, welcome back to another video. I have to apologize for missing out a week, but as some of you would know, I had a computer situation. I resolved it for now, but I will keep you posted on the actual solution soon. Now let's talk a little bit about my new home. I call it my new home, but it is actually much older than the brand new up-to-date apartment we were living in. But my parents' needs had to be taken into consideration, so we decided to move here. It's going to take quite a bit of time to get this home shaped up, so there isn't really going to be a home tour yet, but I'm happy to take you on my journey with me. The one thing I knew from the moment we moved in here was that I wanted a dresser for this spot of my room. In fact, what I wanted were these drawers. Eight magnificent drawers that would hold not just clothes, but some of my accessories and bric-brac. Now there are four half-size drawers and four large deep ones. Leaving that for later, let's begin on the countertop. I've had this beautiful gold tray for about a year now and it's proven quite versatile and right now it's on my new dresser. I have used it to create a placeholder for our perfumes. A couple are currently missing because my husband is traveling. This perfume here, it is my favorite. I have been loyal to this for almost 25 years. But I have recently found another perfume I like. It is this Roll-On by Burberry, and I do like this as an occasional scent. Then I have this flower vase belonging to my mom, which she's not using. So I happily grabbed it for my hairbrushes and combs. It is the exact size that I needed. This lovely clear mirrored tissue holder with gold edges was a birthday gift from my mini adults. I have mentioned before that I have moved away from mirrored furniture, so I tend to use pieces of glass and mirror as decor instead. And this little plate of shells is from a trip to the seaside we took many years ago. On the other end, I have these two mirrored photo frames, which you have also seen before. These used to be on my entryway cabinet in the old apartment. I will leave you a link to that video in the description box below. Now behind that is this tall lamp from Ikea. It doesn't matter that it has a plain stem because it's well hidden. The main purpose is just to add height to this side so it pulls this vignette together with the notice board. I initially ordered this board for my daughter but instead of a rose gold one they sent us this gold colored piece. So I added it to this small wall here. I usually have family photos pinned on it but I have removed those for privacy reasons. So it's just Paul and me, and then just me, and this. And this is Bothos the Seventh. I'm happy to announce that I have learned to grow the money plant. The proof is in this healthy, happy, and flourishing plant. Another piece that I added to complete the ensemble is this mirror. It's from my parents' old home, and it fits perfectly here. It may seem a little low, but since I'm only 5'2", it's quite the right height for me. It has this deep brown color with a stitch finish that corresponds with my TV console. <clears throat> I also like these round Hermes logo type of insignia in the four corners. It's really very heavy and had not to be just hung on a strong screw, but we also had to add a bracket to hold the weight from the bottom. I've also added a floral runner here instead of using a vase of flowers, as I felt I have sufficiently decorated the countertop. This runner is from Lovely Lace, which generally sells shabby chic items, but they do have some extremely pretty soft furnishing. This is the hardware that these drawers come with. My dilemma is whether to keep these or to replace them with gold ring knobs. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below, because right now I'm really partial towards the ring knobs. Now let's move along to the drawers. The first drawer has all my makeup. I only use makeup when I have to attend a social gathering. Otherwise, on work days, it's just powder and lipstick. So everything except my skincare is in here. I have my powders, lip and eye pencils, my lipsticks are here, and behind that are my creams. To this side, I have some jars, and in this plastic case, kept clean, are my spare sponges and puffs. This is a makeup setter which I have used all of once so far. 
Welcome to my next draw. My weakness will no longer be a secret once you have seen this draw. These are my hair clips. I absolutely love hair clips. My clips are organized by frequency of use more than any other system and they are in the same wooden crates from Daiso. I use the same organizers in my bedside table as well. I don't have any hair tools because I don't really style my hair. So I only need two items and that is dry shampoo and a small can of hairspray. Drawer 3 is actually empty, although my sunglasses are in here for now. As I mentioned, Paul is travelling, so I will offer him this drawer when he is back. The fourth drawer is for medication. I ordered these bottles from Amazon and they are really good for tablets and capsules. I will need to, however, move the labels to the top soon. It makes it very convenient for me to dispense medication to my family by having one easily accessible space for them. I also have a few other related things here, including this pill cutter. Now this is a blood pressure reader. This one is by Omron and has proven very durable over the years. There is some space at the back for a small nebulizer, which my dad is currently using. And now for the bigger drawers. This one has some boxes of accessories like my bindis and these are just my t-shirts folded KonMari style. The empty space is reserved for Paul should he agree to move his t-shirts or gym clothes here. This drawer is visually divided into two. On the right are Zoe's wee wee mats should she need to go at night and these are her pampers which we occasionally use if she's going on a road trip. Paul brushes her teeth every night so her toothbrush and tooth spray are both in this pouch that Paul can grab before he grabs the extremely reluctant pup. On the left is Paul's shoe polish stuff, also in a scoop organizer. The empty space here is for his shoe horns, which he's using at the moment for his trip. So those are going to go in here. Now this drawer is my spa drawer. I keep all my nail polish in here along with my many petty tools. I currently am sporting short nails for housework purposes, but I do miss my long nails. It's easy for mum and B to grab what they need to. And these lovely cushions are also from Lovely Lace for placing your hand on while painting your nails. And lastly, this is my massage or therapy drawer as I call it. I have these hot packs which are from Bangkok. There are different ones for the feet, knees, waist or back and the neck. These are filled with herbs that get activated with heat. Okay, let me show you. You are going to heat this for two minutes or so, then using the Velcro, you attach it to a band. Secure this band to the area needed. We all agree to its effectiveness. This is also a hot pack filled with wheat, and you have probably guessed it, it's from Australia. Now these towel covers are meant for hot and cold packs. For hygienic purposes, we place the pad inside this before placing it on any part of the body. After use, we just have to wash these in the washing machine. Now in this basket, I have a neck pillow and some massage oils. These baskets are also from IKEA and fit well into these drawers. This is a massager with different attachments. It is by Ogawa and it can be plugged in for a relaxing or tense massage therapy. After using, it fits comfortably into this space. So my loves, I hope I have given you some additional ideas on how to use a dresser for purposes other than for clothes. If you want to see more such videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you're new. Until the next video, this is Ravina saying happy homemaking.